Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the realm of military technology, the dynamics of power and defense strategies are constantly evolving. The development and deployment of advanced ballistic missile systems have long been pivotal elements in the arsenal of nations seeking to bolster their defensive capabilities or project power beyond their borders. Among the recent additions to this landscape is the Ukrainian short-range ballistic missile known as the Grom, or Thunder, often colloquially referred to as the Grom, II. Origins and Development The genesis of the Grom project can be traced back to 2003, when initial plans were conceived for the development of a Ukrainian counterpart to the formidable Russian Iskander missile system. However, progress on the project was stymied by a lack of funding at the time. It was not until 2014, following the Russian military interventions in Ukraine, that renewed impetus was given to the development of the Grom. In 2016, a mock-up of the Grom system was unveiled, signaling the commitment of Ukrainian defense authorities to pursue its development. The primary objective behind the Grom project was to enhance Ukraine's strategic capabilities and provide a modern replacement for aging missile systems like the Tochka U, which had been the mainstay of the Ukrainian army's ground attack capabilities with its limited range of 120 kilometers. Technical Specifications The Grom missile was envisioned to possess a range of up to 500 kilometers, making it a potent tool for striking a variety of high-value targets deep within enemy territory. Its intended targets included command posts, infrastructure such as bridges and air defense sites, as well as military assets like missile and artillery batteries, troop concentrations, and critical installations such as radars and airfields. With its extended range, the Grom had the capability to effectively project force across significant distances, potentially reaching targets within Russia itself. Additionally, plans were in place for the development of an export variant of the Grom with reduced capabilities, featuring a range of 280 kilometers and a smaller warhead payload to comply with international export restrictions imposed by bodies like the Missile Technology Control Regime, MTCR. Operational Capabilities the Grom launcher vehicle, mounted on a robust five-axle chassis, was designed to provide a degree of cross-country mobility, enabling it to traverse rugged terrain and operate in various environmental conditions. Each launcher vehicle was capable of carrying and independently targeting two Grom missiles, offering flexibility in engagement scenarios. Moreover, the Grom launcher vehicle was intended to serve as a platform for launching not only ballistic missiles but also the Corps' Hunland attack cruise missiles, with a range spanning from 280 to 700 kilometers. The Corps' Hun missile, akin to the Soviet-era KH-55 air-launched cruise missile, further diversified the Grom system's operational capabilities, providing additional options for precision strikes against distant targets. Support Infrastructure a comprehensive support infrastructure was envisaged to accompany the deployment of the Grom missile system. This included reloading vehicles equipped with cranes for replenishing missile stocks, command vehicles for coordinating operations, and maintenance and repair vehicles to ensure the operational readiness of the system. Challenges and uncertainties. Despite the ambitious plans laid out for the Grom program, its future remains uncertain in the wake of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. The conflict inflicted significant damage on Ukrainian defense enterprises and infrastructure, raising questions about the feasibility of continuing development and deployment efforts for the Grom missile system. Moreover, reports indicating the potential loss of the sole existing launcher vehicle, purportedly delivered to Saudi Arabia and not returned to Ukraine following the invasion, further underscore the challenges and uncertainties surrounding the program's future. In conclusion, while the Grom missile system represented a significant stride towards bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities and enhancing its strategic posture, the geopolitical realities and security challenges facing the nation have cast a shadow of uncertainty over its future prospects. Whether the Grom will fulfill its intended role as a cornerstone of Ukrainian defense strategy or succumb to the formidable obstacles posed by conflict and instability remains to be seen. That's all for now. See you later.